Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining today's workshop about personal care skills. Before we go more in depth, we will talk about occupational therapy in NELF. Our role as an OT in NELF, we upskill parents. We do not work with parents or clients directly, but we empower you to how you support with your child in a daily basis. We focus on functional skills, including feeding, dressing, grooming, and toileting. All the self-care skills that your child requires to learn as they grow up. So today's topic is about personal care. What you will learn today is about some ideas to help your child learn personal care skills, including brushing their teeth,、uh, washing themselves, washing hair, washing hands, grooming. So before we teach skills, we need to fully understand and observe the child. Um, to get a baseline, to get an idea where they are at, what they can do well, what they get stuck, what they go wrong, and then you set a goal with your child.、Uh, with younger children, it can be difficult to set a goal with them, agree with them. So you can set a goal for yourself as a parent. For example, you can say that like I would like my child to be able to wash their hands. Uh, with minimal assistance from you, or independently within eight weeks, to make it more specific,、um, as I said, like washing hands, like not the whole process of like washing、um, in general. So washing which part to make specific on that, and then you teach the skills by modeling, showing, showing the um the to the how to do it,、uh, use a video to show them. Using backward chaining, you do all the steps to leave the last step for them to complete. Once they master the last step, and then you teach them the last two step gradually,、um, move one by one steps.、Uh, and then you use some visuals, some picture cards for them to visualize. It's ca- it can be better than a、uh, verbal, and then you modify the task. Breaking down the task into multiple steps, simplify the task, make it easier for them to learn, and then you practice with them with praising all the steps that they attempt to do, not just the outcome, and also using reward system or giving any any rewards that can motivate them to learn. So first of all, we will talk about washing ourselves. So for example, washing their hands, showing by doing. Wash your hands at the time, as your child, and comment on what you're doing, using simple language. For example,、um, so you wash your hands and then you say turn on the tap, soap on, wash hands, and turn off the tap, dry hands. So using very simple and short instructions, to avoid frustration. And then you practice with glasses to explain to your child that they need to rub their hands for thirty seconds to remove the germs. You can sing the songs、um, alongside these thirty seconds to help them.、Um, and also, you can use visual sequence, visual schedules like this one on the slides, for them to visualize it.、Um, make sure that like and remind them not to miss a step. And you provide a step so your child can reach the wash basin easily. If the taps are hard for your child, you can partly turn them on, and then you can ask your child to turn the half on. It's easier for them.、Um, and put a sticker on the tap, red for hot, blue for cold. Make it easier for them to indicate to see it. Use brand soap or even toys in soap to increase motivation. Use a scent timer or sing a song to give them an idea of time, on how long they need to need to wash the hands. If your child doesn't like the feeling of the splashing water, you can massage the hands before task, or you can wash like rub the hands together,、um, fill basin up with water to put the hands directly in, so that like to avoid the splashing. Washing the face and the body, have a consistent routine of same time of the day and order of washing. Use a natural soap with no perfume or scent. This is for、um, some children who are more sensitive 
with smell. Use a visual schedule to remind your child to do all the body parts. Use different clothes to wash with, a sponge, hand mitt. If drying is difficult, use tea towels as they, these are easier to handle. If your child doesn't like um, putting enough, doesn't put, put enough pressure on, place your hand over theirs to teach the correct pressure um, for them to feel how much pressure you're putting on. So this is an example of a visual for bath. So you can see that like all the steps um, for them to follow it. For refusal to wash, you can play with your child in the bath when they are a baby and young child. Uh, keep to your routine and give warnings. For example, so now is Lego time, next is shower. Or you can say now is shower, next is something that they enjoy doing. So it's more motivating. Avoid asking closed questions. Just say time to wash. No need to ask them like, do you want to go for a wash or you want to wash yourself? This is just to avoid them to say no. And give bath toys or activities that are exciting to your child. For example, washing dolls, cars, anything that they like, just to keep them motivated in wash, make them look forward to washing. Turn on the water before telling your child to come. The cold or the waiting can trigger expected behaviors. So wiping the bottom, teach them to use and fold toilet paper. Teach your child to fold the toilet paper. This doesn't need to be done in the toilet, but can be practiced elsewhere. Teach your child a suitable amount of paper to tear off. It can be by counting or you can make a mark on the wall, just like the image on the slide. While sitting, um, teach them to fold one end and, and then the other. You can use the back or chaining technique by that. Um, you, pull, you pull how many papers that need to be um, for the wiping and then you can ask them to tear it. And then once they know how to tear the paper and then you tell them, you teach them how, like how many they should count on or how to get the paper folded. Um, and then teach them the wiping motion. Wipes may require less effort initially. So some children find it harder to um, reach the bottom. Play games to reach back, such as passing a ball behind the back. So they can learn this motion, not just like by um, during the toilet time or like when they need to wipe themselves, but any time that you can um, teach their skill. So some children cannot master the wiping motion. You can even like spread some marmite or sauce on the plate um, or practice wiping, uh, making sure that they understand that when it's dirty and like um, how they wipe it and like have the awareness. And then you can place the plate like vertically to make it like at the same angle as the body. And hair care, ask your child what they don't like it could be the sensation of the water, the scent of the soap, or the feeling of wet hair. If they're afraid of water in their eyes, try to get them to hold a fennel um, over their eyes. Use swimming goggles. Use a shower hat to protect eyes. Place a sticker on the ceiling and instruct your child to look up when washing their hair. If your child doesn't like water in their eyes, try to use an eye, uh, ear um, doesn't like water in their ears, try to use earplugs to avoid water running into their ears. If your child doesn't like the feel of the water on their head, massage their head firmly before washing. Use a jar bottle of water rather than a shower hose. Try washing over a sink rather than a bath. A wet sponge um, or flannel may be enough to rinse your child's hair. If your child is scared of using shampoo, you can place a mirror in the shower or bathtub for your child to see what they are doing. When it's too hard to wash their hair, you can um, have a break. Make sure that you don't force them. 
uh, and use a dry shampoo for a few weeks. Sprays are available to help unta untangle hair. If your child is hypersensitive, try unscented soaps or bar soaps for hair washing. Short hair makes rinsing and washing quicker and easier. So if possible, you can consider that options to have shorter hair. A wet sponge of flannel, like maybe enough again um, to rinse your child's hair. So having a haircut. So some children really struggling with having a haircut. So before the haircut, you can watch video with your child, explaining in a fun way, cutting the hair, or you can use a social story, just like an example here. You can explain like what would happen, what um what will ha what we'll be doing during the process of having a haircut, uh, and also what to do if your child feels anxious. You can find it like a lot of example of social story about haircut online, or you can make one on your own, like use the images of your child to make a story. You can read it anytime, not just before the haircut. So during the haircut, if your child found the pressure calming, massage the head before the start. Diversion um, is a really good strategy as it can be a highly stressful activity for some children. Use something extra like sweets, a tap the game or anything that can be used as a reward to give a positive association with this activity. Use scissors instead of electric clippers just to avoid like more sensory stimulation. Grooming. Try different toothbrush sizes um, Bristol firmness, handles, and the colors to identify the one that is best for your child. An electric toothbrush that has a slight vibration might be another option for your child, um, but it really depends. Some children, they really don't like it. It's too sensitive. Um, you can also try a toothbrush that sings or lights up or have some stickers or cartoons on. Use a three phases to brush if your child cannot handle extended amount of time brushing. Or you can also try a fingertip toothbrush that gives more control on their own um, for them to brush on their self using their finger. And be aware of the time. Sing a familiar short song throughout the process. When the song is over, the toothbrushing ends. Don't try to extend it. Um, use a scent timer, try a timer app. There's lots of um, apps available on your phone. Count to a, spec a specified num number. Um, make sure that like when it's reached, then it's over. So making it fun. Allow your child to hold the toothbrush while you gently guide the hand um, as tolerated. Can use a mirror so that they can see what they're doing. Make two brushing a game, like attack of the cavities. Make brushing away the germs, bugs, a fun game. If your child doesn't open the mouth or brush the teeth a little time, this is my worth to explore. Your child may not like the smell, the temperature, or the sound of the bathroom. Try to make small changes in the environment to see if it helps. If they don't like the taste of the toothpaste, try tasteless um, toothpaste. If they are hypersensitive, try to tap gently around your child's mouth before they start to brush to help um, desensitize um, the area. The noise can trigger anxiety for young children when it comes to nail clipping. Use diversion such as singing song or TV or tablet, iPad if it's too scary. For older children, teach them to do it by themselves as soon as possible to give them control. If your child lacks coordination, complete the task with the hand flat on a surface. Instruct them to place the clipper under the nail and then to keep it flat to ensure um, they will not cut too short. Blowing their nose, keep tissue and being accessible. Train your child, giving step-by-step. -step. Model on a teddy or model on your own. Use scented tissues that your child likes. 
um, and when it comes to very sensitive, you might uh, consider like some tissues that does not have a smell. And extra content for um, teenagers. So when it comes to period, um, have a discussion around managing this before it starts with the child. Use pads uh, rather than tampons at the beginning. It's easy to manipulate, to handle. And also develop a routine for changing um, um, sensory aware washable pads might increase the sensation that it needs to be changed. Um, feminine uh, hygiene wipes can be helpful to maintain hygiene. Shaving, experiment with different rouses um, and shaving creams in order to find one that works um, for your child. An electric one is a great alternative um, for teenagers just starting out if they prefer. If your child is reluctant to shave, you might want to work on improving your child's comfort level first. So don't force and start gradually with single steps, like applying shaving cream and rinse off short intervals. Make sure that you don't have it for a long time and then all, and, and also small areas that they can like just give a hint of it. And if shaving is not an option, you might want to try um, some other creams that um, might have less of a sensory effect and require less fine motor skills. Here is the reference list that we have used for this workshop. Um, you can always refer to them. And also, if you have any questions regarding um, this specific workshop, please email us um, on the email address provided on the slide uh, and a member of the team will respond to you. Thank you.